It's time now for the award-winning number one local talk show in Northeast Pennsylvania, The Sam LaSant Show. Now here's your host, Sam LaSant. Well, folks, I'm excited today because we've been talking about health care uh, for a long time. Uh, and remember back in 1994, folks, when we talked about the health care in the greater Hazleton area and as we begin to grow and, and how the great successes we had and how we're lifting the bar up. Well, uh, as you all know, exciting things happened in the past few months. Uh, we had the merger uh, with Lehigh Valley Health Network. How, how much better could you get, folks, okay, with a successful health group that we got here under Jim Edwards uh, with the, um, uh, the General Hospital, Hazelden General Hospital, and everything is great. So what I thought we would do today is let's bring the big bites, and the, the honchos in here, and talk about all the great things that are happening or will happen in the greater Hazelden area. And my guest today is Terry Capuano, who is the Chief Operating Officer of the Lehigh Valley Health Network, and a good friend of mine, John Fletcher, who is the interim president now of the Lehigh Valley Hospital Hazelden. First of all, to both of you, congratulations. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. you know, um, I've been pushing the, our hospital here for years, uh, as you know, John, uh, that we have great health care, great doctors, you know, this going out of town, you don't have to. But then when you guys came on board, Lehigh Valley, I mean, how, how great could this be? This is just fantastic. And so I, I say congratulations and, and really to provide the health care now for our area that we have, John, and uh, j just just amazing. So let me start with Terry. People know, uh, you know, J John Terry. Tell me a little bit about yourself, okay? So, uh, Sam, I started as a clinical nurse and have been in healthcare for uh, about 30, a little over 30 years, and started my work at the bedside and have both an undergraduate degree in nursing as well as a graduate degree and a graduate degree in business. So I was able to combine both the clinical knowledge as well as business knowledge, um, combine that together for the health of our communities. So I've been with Lehigh Valley Health Network um, about 30 years. Um, the last four years, I've been the chief operating officer for the network. And we truly are de delighted to bring the Greater Hazelton Health Alliance into Lehigh Valley Health Network. We believe it was the perfect match um, for us to grow as a network. Well, you know, when you, when you look at any type of merger and, and you're working uh, together, there, there's, a, there's a process. I mean, Lehigh Valley is, has such a great reputation for health care, okay? And then you have the Greater Hazelton Health Alliance, who is fabulous at health care. Uh, just a perfect marriage, as, as I can see. So when, when, what were some of the um, factors that, you know, Lehigh Valley considered before they... I don't know who approached whom, but however, I know the hospital was working with Lehigh Valley before that, okay? Uh, and uh, boy, their emergency department just went through the roof. It was just fabulous. Uh, what were some of the, the, the circumstances in developing that? Here? So as you say, uh, we were working together for a number of years. Our emergency department physicians were in the Greater Hazleton Hospital. Um, working there side by side with the physicians in the community as well as the staff. We also had been doing telehealth for a number of years, what bringing those services, bring telehealth. Yes. So um, let me give you an example yes. of telehealth because it, it, the example sort of makes it come alive. One of the first programs we implemented was teleburn. And with teleburn, a patient comes into the emergency department. Now sometimes it's very clear that they have to be transported to a trauma center and get burn specialized care. There are other times that patients enter into the emergency department where they might have a burn. And when you look at it with, with just an eye and you're not a burn specialist, you're not exactly sure what kind of treatment or the depth of that burn. What they do with telehealth is they take a picture, transport it electronically to our, to our burn specialists at Lehigh Valley Cedarcrest. And those burn specialists take a look at that burn on their smartphones, on their iPads, whatever they have available to them. And they let us know in the region that has sent the picture, they let us know if the patient can stay 
in that particular facility, so in our ER at LVH Hazleton, they would let us know if, if that patient could remain in that ER with certain treatment, and they'll guide the treatment, whether that patient needs to come to outpatient care or whether the patient needs to come to inpatient care. And so that we have in Hazleton instantaneous access to specialists in Allentown to give us that information and to give us their expertise. So we had been doing that in a number of different areas over, uh, over the last several years. Absolutely. <clears throat> and what we were able to discern is that Hazleton was focused on quality, they were focused on the care of the patient, and their culture of compassion and quality made it a natural fit for us. It fit our mission. Their mission fit our mission, and now together we have the same mission. The, uh, the, the, the awards that the hospital had, and plus is what Lehigh Valley, and we could go on for a whole, no, that's a whole another two-hour show. Um, the, you, you said something about caring, okay, with healthcare today and all the concerns, and hopefully down the road things will settle down a little bit, okay. It's a difficult task because you're dealing with finances and you're dealing with health care. And one thing I, which I think I really appreciate with the Lehigh Valley Network and always with the Greater Hazel because I'm here, is health care came first. Okay, there was never a, a you know, were we making money? Do we do this? Or, you know, it was taking care of the people first, okay, <clears throat> whether it came to the emergency room or whatever, okay. And <clears throat> that's the thing that, that I think is, is great for the health care of, of, of both communities. Wouldn't you think so, Terry? Absolutely. Our mission says that we heal, comfort, and care for our community um, through, by providing compassionate care, high quality care, um, through practice, education, and research. And that mission just fits with our mission in Hazleton. Sam, as, as you know, that uh, whether you provide direct patient care, a nurse, or whether you're in our maintenance department and making sure the roads are plowed, it, it's all centered around the patient. We got in finance, in, in administration, in respiratory therapy, the center focus of everything that we do is on the patient. And so it's kind of interesting that you say that we talk about um, patient-centered, but, but that is throughout the organization because uh, we all have a role in the uh, the patient care. Your background, John. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I, I know of you for you know, for many years, but so the uh, our audience knows who John Fletcher is. Okay, so I was uh, raised in Berwick. I've been Northeast PA is my home. It's been my home since day one. Uh, started my healthcare career as an orderly at the Berwick Retirement Village. Is my, that right? Yes. My mom was the nursing home administrator. See, Terry, I learned things on my show, too. Yeah, me, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My mom was the nursing home administrator. I have a sister who's a nurse, and I have another sister who, uh, who was, just recently retired, the chief operating officer for John Hines Allied Health Resources. So I grew up uh, surrounded by, by healthcare professionals. I um, have my degree in business. Uh, and then from day one, um, started my career in the healthcare field at Berwick Hospital. Uh, moved to community health systems, the for-profit chain. Uh, sent, spent some time at, uh, community, with community health systems at Berwick. Accepted a corporate position with uh, community health systems. And then joined Hazleton in 2006. And have been at Hazleton since. So, John, what, what has been accomplished in Hazleton in, in terms of, of health care um, has been just tremendous. Mm -hmm. right? um, when we talk about, um, you know, the quality of care, um, let's take Hazleton because we know what Lehigh Valley is, is about. How, how do you tell people, okay, um, about the quality of care we have, health care, with our doctors, our nurses, our aides, you know, and you name it, because they all have a major factor here, believe me when I tell you. Absolutely. So always being patient-centered, and, and you know our physicians. Uh, we have uh, a fabulous medical staff that's been very, very supportive, excellent nurses. And so uh, when we go out and meet with the community, when we go out and meet with the staff, it is, it is uh, centered around uh, patient care focus in, in improving the overall quality of the, of the product and service that we provide in Hazleton. It's been uh, that way since the day that I arrived. And, and as you know, we went through some early struggles. And so I think uh, 
that commitment, um, both on behalf of, of the hospital, but equally important, the commitment of the medical staff to, to improve the, uh, the quality of the product that we provide has just been outstanding and, and um, a joy to be part of. Well, you know, you, the hospital was doing so great, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, and so you, you would think that, you know, you had the relationship with Lehigh Valley. Right. You had, uh, you know, you're communicating with them. Um, why then merge? I mean, mm -hmm. when we had all this stuff going for us, okay? Right. So it, it was time. Uh, honestly, we have had this relationship with Lehigh many, many years ago. And I, I guess we could, we could state that it was a, a dating process. Uh, had a chance to understand more about the network, had a chance to understand their leadership and their medical staff. And, and as we progressed, it was just a natural next step. Uh, we, we believe that through this relationship, and it is centered around how are we going to grow the services in Hazleton. Right. Uh, one of the perceptions is the concern that we are going to be taking patients from Hazleton and moving them to Allentown. And uh, you couldn't be more wrong. This is uh, centered around how we stop that out migration, patients who are leaving Hazleton to go to Allentown, to go to Wilkesbury, to go to Berwick, to go to other areas. And what can we do to make sure that uh, we offer that service here and that we stop that out migration from leaving Hazleton? And that's what, that's what this is centered around. And this was just a perfect time for us to take our relationship with Lehigh Valley to the next level through the merger. Well, you see, you were accomplishing that because I remember when I first started talking about, you know, well, you, if you get, get out of Hazleton, okay, right. okay, and I remember the very, first, and I'm going back to maybe 96, 90, whatever, and telling people there is no need, okay, and, and once they start understanding who our, our, our doctors were and we have great, you know, advanced they were starting to, you know, and I don't know how that is now, but I know I don't have that as much anymore, but people have great health care. Now, one of the things that when you're considering, okay, so here we go with Lehigh Valley. You have the relationship with, uh, with Hazleton. Um, but then what made Lehigh Valley decide, okay, let's go, you know, we're dating now, let's get engaged, and we're going to get married someday, okay, which I like. I mean, that's, I think that's always a good process, okay. What made you, you, Lehigh Valley look that way? I think the final, after, after you talk about the, the um, quality, um, you start talking about are we a cultural fit? Do we have the same values um, going forward, and do we have the same goals in mind and the same vision of health care for our community in the future? And that really is what cemented our relationship because it was extremely similar um, in nature in terms of our vision for the future. Healthcare is challenging. <laughs> Extremely, yeah. You know, the, the thing is that you know, when you have to have that compassion, okay, and people, you know, think that it's, uh, you just say, no, you really have to have the compassion. You know, uh, you know you're on our end, okay, yes. my wife's on our end, and you're you just, you're in, you're, you've been in health care, and you have that compassion. Yes, you have to pay bills, and let's not, but the same token, we focus on that. So with the, what, what, what some people have been asking, okay, we had this relationship with Lehigh, which I said, okay, so now what do we gain okay by the merger what is this good what does this mean for health care uh, in the greater Hazelton area and hold that thought folks I'm talking to Terry Capuano who is the chief operating officer of Lehigh Valley Network and of course uh, John Fletcher who is the interim president of the Lehigh Valley Hospital Hazelton no we did not lose our identity we are growing we're getting better it's a great opportunity for health care I'm excited I know many of my friends are excited to see this great thing happening and you know what we're all having fun at it stay with us we'll be back right after this Thanks for staying with us, folks. You're watching the Sam LaSan Show. Folks, remember 24-7, all of our 21 programs that we produce are on the Internet, uh, website, ssptv.com, and my email, folks, sam at ssptv.com. I want to thank you so much for the tremendous response. Uh, local News 13, our News 13 now. Folks, great, great things happening with the news. April 1st, you're going to be excited. Uh, we're up to 75,000 people per weekday. 
uh, more than some of our broadcast stations combined. And also, thank you so much for making our show here, The Sam Hassan Show, the number one talk show in Northeastern Pennsylvania. I really appreciate that. My guest today, folks, I'm excited about this show. I have Terry Capuano here, who is the Chief Operating Officer for Lehigh Valley Health Network, and a good friend of mine, John Fletcher, great guy, uh, who is the interim uh, president of, of the Lehigh Valley Hospital, Hazleton. So we have the merger, okay? We were doing, we're doing so well in healthcare, okay? What are some of the things now that, you know, now we're engaged, okay? We're expecting a little bit more going on. What's going to happen? What, what are we bringing to the Hazleton area? So I'll, I'll let John okay. answer that. So uh, first <coughs> off, now we're married. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We've been engaged, we, now, we, now we're married. Short, we, but we're we are married. absolutely, uh, we're, okay. we are absolutely okay. married. And so we have to understand that this merger is, is all of 60 days old. And so what we are, where we are today is we are, we are beginning and in, in moving through the planning process, looking at uh, the out migration and the service areas that we really want to expand upon. Um, still doing, uh, uh, much of that work is, is uh, yet to remain. We, we're still working hard on that. What, what do I see uh, moving forward? I think um, through this merger, we're going to see an expansion of, of service lines. Ask me the details about what service lines we're going to expand. I don't have that right now because we're still studying it. I think we will see uh, physician recruitment and the ability to add physicians to our market in those key strategic areas. I, I think you'll see an expansion of, of services as it relates through telehealth. Uh, within the Lehigh Valley network. We think that's an excellent opportunity. Telehealth allows us to bring physicians to the bedside that uh, we, as a small community hospital, just would, don't have access to. We just do not have the, the volume of patients or the support of, of uh, patients related to those specific areas. Having a, a, a network and their support and through telehealth allows us to tap into those resources. So I think you're going to see uh, additional services being offered to Hazleton, in Hazleton. I think you're going to see uh, out migration decline and keeping that volume in Hazleton. I think you're gonna see the expansion of uh, telehealth services into key strategic service areas. Um, and, and I think you're going to see um, overall uh, a busier, uh, and a growing Hazleton, uh, Lehigh Valley Hospital, Hazleton, in, in the very near future. That our, our, our entire core of this merger, like I said earlier, is centered around growth in Hazleton. Every area, I think, has specific needs, okay? We have an elderly population here, right. okay? So I guess you have more, you know, what's on strokes and, and uh, additional things that go at age, okay? How, do you, how does Lehigh Valley then begin to meet the needs? Because, again, as people are, you know, you're growing and migration will, will, will hopefully cease to a degree uh, and get more patients coming in. How do you handle this? How, is, how are you prepared to handle this, Terry? From a uh, network perspective, one of the first things we did that is visible is we placed our helicopter yes. on, the, on the helipad yeah. so that if somebody comes in with a stroke, we do tell a stroke. So we have our stroke experts assess the patient with the emergency room physician and determine whether the patient can be safely treated here or they have to fly to um, have some type of intervention at Lehigh Valley uh, Hospital Cedar Crest. And so that was one of the first visible signs that we made is that, that is. we will keep patients in the community that can be here. And when you need access to um, a higher level of care, you can have that almost immediately. And you know, I'll tell you, Terry, um, I, I, I was speaking to someone's uh, family member who, who was in a hel helicopter. And you know, I guess everyone knows when you, we have a stroke, it, it, time is critical, okay? As you know, many yes. doctors have told me, but to have that, that just, one of so many great opportunities we have that we're able to save, uh, you know, the, the, I think the father or the mother, one of the kid, people were telling me, I get a lot of calls when we do the health shows, and, yeah. and it's, 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 that's one feature that's unbelievably fantastic. It's there, you know. There. But, and, and that's what we're here for. That's what we're in healthcare for. It's, it's to hear the stories uh, of the patient that came into the ED with a stroke, and five days later is walking out of yeah. Lehigh Valley, yeah. uh, Cedar Crest. Um, yeah, uh, just amazing. Now, we're doing a, a, a segment this afternoon about a patient who had a heart attack and, yeah. 
it's uh, the That's story a, is just it's just incredible. The, 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 the guy has a heart attack in the car, okay, right. And, and right by the, I mean, so here again, if they didn't have the health and wellness center or the expertise, that guy would have been gone, okay, uh, from what I understand, mm -hmm. correct? Um, uh, it's, it's an interesting story. The, when, we're, when you're talking about the telehealth, okay, I know the governor was in town, okay, and what did the governor have to say about the telehealth? Well, the governor is looking for opportunities for us to be reimbursed because so many times we're not reimbursed for, for the expertise of the physician on the other end of that camera or the other end of that telephone. Um, so the governor is looking to support um, opportunities for us to be reimbursed for that care. Um, regardless of, of the progress of the governor, we, we continue to provide that service to this community. And this telehealth, okay, so people, again, understand what telehealth is, okay, because we talked about teleburn and telestroke and, you know, uh, just, just to give me a little uh, synopsis of whomever, what telehealth really is. It's using our technical um, availability. So it's using our telephones, our video conferencing, um, there are special units that have been developed that provide high resolution so that the physician on the expert on one end of that technology really has the high resolution to be able to examine the patient with the help of a provider, examine the patient on the other end. So where do we... How, how do we begin to assess, you know, the, the merger and, and the move, John, okay, like you do anything, you begin to assess anything, and it's a difficult task to being a president or to being a, because you have to look at so many facets, and you have to surround yourself by people who are fully qualified, and that's why it's so great to have the medical staff that we have. How, how do you begin to assess these things, John? Well, assess the overall merger? Yeah, yeah. I think uh, assess will come with time. You, I mean, you will see uh, in time the expansion of the services, the expansion of uh, or the decrease of the out migration, the expansion of, of the hospital service line that we, that we produce. Um, I, I will tell you that um, it's been such a, a great experience for these first 60 days. And it's, again, it's only been 60 days. Uh, Dr. Swinford, when we were here for the, the uh, the open house, the celebration. Uh, if you recall, what he said is, we are we see Hazelton as a partner, and we are not here to do things to Hazelton, but we are here to do things with Hazelton, and uh, that has been so true. And so we are sitting around with the with our colleagues in uh, the Allentown area, talking about what are the key strategic initiatives, how do we work together. What are the resources that, uh, that we need to bring to the Hazleton area to help support the mission of the organization and improving the quality of the product, the, product, the quality of the service that, uh, that we provide here? And so I think with time, we'll, we'll, we'll give us the number one uh, assessment as to what we've accomplished. Um, but it's uh, a lot of work to do. And uh, we are on that journey. Um, but it's still, like I said, very early in the process. You know, one of the things that I think uh, I'm always impressed about with Lehigh Valley and also the Hazelton, um, Greater Hazelton Hospital, uh, the Alliance was that input is important. And, mm -hmm. you know, uh, when you have patients who come in or people come in, uh, not once did anyone ever turn uh, a deaf ear to, you know, we had emergency problems, you remember, right. what, and, and boy, they were addressed immediately. We, you understood them carefully, and people understand what triage was about, and why someone had to wait maybe a little bit longer, because someone just came in with a stroke or a heart attack, etc. But, you know, Lehigh Valley, I think, and, and the hospital, Greater Hazel Health Alliance grew, they listened to what the patients had and reacted to it. I, I think that's continuing in that respect, isn't it? Absolutely. We, uh, there, there are a number of things that we do. One is we send out satisfaction yes. surveys to our patients. And the important parts of those satisfaction surveys are their comments. And then you listen to those comments. Patients can always call us. Um, they, can always, they can always talk to us. The other thing that we'll bring to this area that we have at, uh, within the network is uh, patient and family advisory groups. So that when you want to do a, no pro, a new program, um, when you want to implement a particular service, we think we know what the patient needs 
it's important that we listen to what the patient needs and expects, particularly those that are chronically ill. Um, so we have patient and family advisory committees that inform us if we are on the right track and they are they provide tremendous feedback to us to make sure that we provide services that are that are devoted and dedicated to their needs. You know, uh, John, I had uh, I had to go to a hospital last a week a year ago and uh, up here. Uh, for a couple of days, and I was a nervous. I'm a big baby. For, I want you to know I'm a big baby. I mean, it took me three years me ago. Uh, colonoscopy. I mean, like, I'm, I'm, but anyway, I went, and I have to tell you, the the aides on the, uh, were the nurses. They're overworked, but they're doing great. Okay, uh, not uh, it, the stress. You you could see it. They were just fabulous from the reception coming into the hospital to the aides and anyone who came in who took my blood work. You know, and my blood pressure was going through the roof because I'm a nervous wreck and I'm a big. But the compassion, and I saw that. Now, you know, and I say have compassion on these nurses because they're under a lot of pressure, you know, and they're, they're trying to provide health care. And it comes from the top, you know. Mm -hmm. right. And uh, when you did this, and I have a couple of minutes, when you spoke to, um, you know, before you did the merger, John, and, we talk, and you talked to your board of directors and mm -hmm. your doctors, okay, what was the feedback? Natural partner. Is that I right? mean, it, it was, there was never a hesitation. <clears throat> it was... Uh, Fully, I mean, again, because we've, we've spent so many years developing this relationship with Lehigh Valley, it was, um, in many aspects, a non-event. It was a natural choice that we take this to the next level. And so we have received uh, full support of the medical staff, full support of the employees, full support of, uh, of the board, um, without hesitation. I mean, it was, Sam, it was just a, a natural fit. And, and it's, it's going to work. And plus, you're going to establish more jobs for the area. Yes. You know, we don't know how many, but I'm sure there's there's growth there. All I could tell you, Terry, is is um, as a person who's been pro this area health from day one, and the doctors, etc. Um, uh, I'm excited, I, and I'm sure my viewers will be excited. Hope they never need emergency work, okay. you know, but mm -hmm. if they do, it feels so good to know that we have them, uh, have you here. I could only wish you guys the, the best, okay? Thank you. Thank you. And I'm here for our stations here to do whatever we can to promote the goodwill, okay? Can, and John, uh, congratulations. I Thank hope you. everything goes well with you Thank and you. Terry. Nice Thank meeting you. you. Folks, I'm talking to Terry Capuano, who is the Chief Operating Officer for Lehigh Valley Health Network. And, of course, John Fletcher was the interim president of the uh, Lehigh Valley Hospital Hazleton. As I said, folks, great things are happening. There is absolutely no reason at all to leave this area for health care unless it's something that they cannot handle here in the area. Thanks for staying with us and on the Sam LaSanne Show. Once again, folks, thanks for making us your number one talk show in northeastern Pennsylvania. I really appreciate it. We'll see you next time.